In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make some pipes or some sort of um, circular type of chair piece, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this, and I'm going to press X, and actually I'm going to go into edit mode and press X, and I'm going to just delete only the faces. So I'm going to be left with this kind of piece. Um, and I want to delete some of these edges, so I'm going to delete that one and that one. I'm holding down Shift and press X to delete those edges. So I've got this little piece here, and what I want to do next is I want to kind of curve these edges a little bit. So I'm going to go to the vertex mode and press A to select it all. And then here's a little tricky hotkey. I've got to hold down Control Shift and the letter B. And when I do that, move around to kind of get the bevel. And then while you're doing that, hold, uh, do the scroller wheel and you'll get kind of this curve, you'll add more vertices. So depending on how much of a curve you want, let go of your um, shift and control, and mouse click, and that'll get you kind of this cool little curve option on there. So now that I've got that, uh, I'm ready to kind of turn this into kind of a pipe uh, or kind of these, this chair piece, I guess, you could uh, find yourself. Um, so once I have that, I need to go into object mode, which I just did, and I'm going to do object, change it from object to a curve, and from there, click on the curves icon, and now I can actually start to play with this. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the bevel option, and if I just go ahead and just start clicking on that, I can start to kind of make it to the thickness that I want it to be and it's doing a little weird stuff but I'll just go with it play with my resolution bump that up so depending on what you want that to look like uh, so I think I'm pretty good there and now I can add a few modifiers so I'll go into the modifier icon and go ahead and do I think I'll do the sub uh, subdivision surface and yeah, it's doing something really weird over there, but we'll kind of play with that. Uh, but that, that's kind of how you get kind of a cool little pipe. Um, might need to go in here and kind of mess around with that a little bit. Uh, and to do that, maybe I'll go in and convert that again. So I'm going to go to Object and convert it back into a mesh. Once I've done that, now I'm left with a lot more geometry to, to work with. So if I decide I want to remove some of that, I could do that. But I'm just going to cut that open maybe and go to edge mode and go ahead and go to maybe wireframe mode while I do this. So I'm going to do a block select. So press the letter B and press X and delete those faces. So, so now you can kind of see uh, inside that a little bit. And this is kind of where that nasty area was. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and get out of that mode. And if I hold down Alt, I can do a little loop select and press X to delete those faces too. So but now I've kind of got this pipe looking type of thing. If I really wanted to, I could merge those. But I think while I have it open like that, I'm going to go ahead and solidify and get kind of a thickness of more of a pipe in here so it's not paper thin. So I'll go back to the modifiers and go to Add. And I'll do solidify, and then I just kind of go in there until I get the thickness I want on there. Uh, I could leave it like that, or I could click apply. That's kind of up to you how you do it, but that's just a quick little way to do some, some pipes.